All right, guys, we got our big old steam boiler fired up. It's time to get to work. And uh, even though we got a lot of work to do today, I'm gonna turn all this corn into vodka and gin, but we are also gonna get to play with the new, to me, FX Crown Aero Kit. This thing is awesome. Stay tuned. my setup guys this GRS stock makes offhand shooting incredible um, it's set up exactly how I want it for me got everything I wanted out of the helix there and the barrel kit for this gun is 200 bucks so what you get is this piece here that replaces your barrel four arrows and this tube that fires it and I was worried about this being super sensitive and uh, actually dropped it earlier today and I was really pissed off, but uh, I had no issues. So that's something to keep in mind. It is relatively durable, which is cool if you do a little bump on it. Um, I imagine if you're a real moron, you can snap the thing off, but that would be, you know, kind of uh, in line with everything you do in life there, I guess. I'm using blunt tips because I want to hunt squirrels with these. That is the hammer tip, which I'm hoping we'll stop this because it's going 310 feet per second. And it is just an absolute tack driver. I literally can't shoot more than one at a target at what I would call reasonable deer hunting ranges. Um, so what I'm gonna do is put the camera on the target. I'm gonna fire the shot at it. And then uh, I'll do that a few times just so you can see. We're gonna aim at the dead center of this over here. That orange dot right there is the target. I have these stakes here just for this purpose. Just an easy way to hold it. It's gonna rattle when I shoot it, but at least you get to see the idea. I like that. Literally dead center of the orange. These blunt tips are beating up my target pretty good, but I'll do one more for you. <laughs> Actually, I mean, not that this target owes me a dime, um, but I'll shoot one more for you. Just show you that it's just time after time. Not cutting. I'll speed it up though so you don't have to watch me walk all over the place. I can literally do this all day long. So I think we can conclude the accuracy test. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to literally break a matchstick 10 out of 10 times. I mean, I'm not even benched. I'm just shooting off of a tripod and that's not my good tripod. I was just using it to film earlier, but uh, yeah accurate yes and with these that's impressive because a lot of my bows don't like these for flight as much but uh how slick is that man and with the grs stock if you don't know it's push button adjustable so you push this in and then this moves in and out this moves up and down i don't want to do that because it is a tack driver for me the way it's set up right now so i am not changing a thing Hey, this is Rick with Shooter 1721. Look what we got here. 
Utah Air Guns Custom Shop. Thank you so much, Justin Jacobson. This is a challenge shot for Keith, uh, 68 Whiskey and Norm. And uh, I'm going to go back here, 75. And uh, since this gun fits so well and feels great, offhand shot. There you go. See, there's three in there. Don't like that, man. Left that door wide open for Keith. Hey guys, this is Keith with 68 Whiskey. FX Crown with the arrow kit and a GRS stock. Element Helix on top. We're gonna be firing a blunt tipped arrow at a pencil, trying to crack it in half at 60 yards. Rick did it at 75 yards, but he was using a pellet and I'm going to say it's a little bit more difficult or on the same playing field. To give you an idea, from my 17-yard zero, I have to hold 96 MOA. 96 MOA. Let's try it. I'll tell you something else, guys. I'll tell you something else. Oh, I see the Nick. You gotta see this group. That is at 60 yards offhand with an arrow gun. Now I'm gonna do it till I get it. But that's the first six. And I did nick the pencil. Right there. See if I can get it to focus. Come on. Yep, right by the little two there. Brutal! So close. But I am not upset about that. Let's keep going. All right, guys. Rick broke his in 10 with a pellet. I nicked it on shot six. That was an awesome shot you thought of. I'm sorry I didn't do it exactly the way you wanted me to, but baby, there is no way I'm taking the arrow kit off of this gun. Check that out! Yes! Shot 10, are you freaking kidding me? Look at this. I mean, come on, baby. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love so fun and just for all the haters this is my driveway it's not a road don't worry about it three two Done. Done, done.